everyone it's Jenny welcome back to my channel we are gonna do something a little different this time just like a casual video showing you my room some room updates I've been staying here on this side of the house for at least like two years now I know it's a little weird you guys probably don't understand like what do you mean the other side of the house so we have like the main house and then my parents built like another side to the house where it's like kind of like an in-law suite but still connected to the house like we have everything that we need like two rooms over here and the bathroom and everything so it's kind of like separated from the other side of the house. I have my living room slash like office area and I have my bedroom, bathroom, and then like this small area that we call like our kitchen. But actually I wanted to show you guys a tour of my living room slash office. This is where I work my nine to five job because you know we're still working from home and where I film and where I have my entertainments at. This space is not the biggest space. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Let's go. So we're gonna start on this side of the room. You guys probably never seen it just because of this home mess. This is where I have all my stuffies and my craft supplies. We're gonna worry about that another day so totally ignore that that's just a door to our main house and then now we have jimmy's side of like the table this is where he plays his games we got this mouse pad off of amazon which is really cool because it lights up all around his keyboard lights up and his mouse and then we have his gaming chair i really like this gaming chair it's actually pretty comfortable we got this for his birthday me and his friends off of secret lab and then when you come over here you have my side of the desk so this is where i work my nine to five job since we're still working from home my iMac for personal so I just switch back and forth this mouse is a really nice mouse that I got off of Amazon it just fits my hand a lot better than the Apple mouse it's just so flat and after a while my hands do hurt that's why I bought this mouse pad thingy and then this off of Amazon too it's a lot more comfortable working with these things definitely essential stuff that I bought and then this big mouse pad is huge um, I got off of Amazon and then we have this little coaster thingy that I made. So this long desk thing is pretty cool because I had my dad help us build it. We bought these drawers off of Michael's. They're actually not the nicest. I have to say that the one from Ikea is a lot better. They're better quality and um, these ones are kind of short for like a desk. So that's why my dad had to build like this little thing right here to kind of lift it up a little bit more. And then we got this big wood slap thing from Home Depot and then we just cut it up and that's our long desk. It was a lot better than having two different desks. I don't know like me and Jimmy have our own space and our own computers so works well in this small space that we have and then right on top of my monitor is like this feather leaf that I made out of macrame and then we're gonna go along to my favorite side of the room which is the space where I usually display all my DIYs drawer is actually those plastic ones that you've seen at Target or Walmart and all I did was just take some wood contact paper and then I kind of just wrapped it around each of these drawers and it just adds a vibe you know that matches my aesthetic I don't know if you guys think that looks cool or not but I thought it was a lot better than having this clear drawer where you guys see everything that's in it moving along we have my TV stand that I made a video on I bought this from Home Depot it didn't turn out the color I wanted it to it was supposed to be like a nice gray but when I got it it was like a greenish color so it wasn't super pretty so I thought why not paint it and stain it myself and this is how it turned out and I really like it it comes with these three drawers and I don't know what's really in them they're like little knickknacks these aren't really interesting like I said my room is really small so any storage space is great for us to just like hide stuff and keep it neat so company actually reached out to me about these baskets they sent this to me and wanted me to do a review and when I received them I opened up the box and I was so shocked of how well made this basket was this was made out of rope and look how sturdy and high quality it is it's staying in its shape I feel like if I did something like this or attempted to make this it's not gonna stay as sturdy it's probably gonna be super floppy so really good quality baskets 100% handmade they're eco-friendly cotton rope baskets and they're super soft and durable if I had like a kid I would totally put this into the nursery but I don't so for now I'm gonna use it for other things but it would definitely look really cute in like a baby's room to put like their baby clothes or like their towels one day one day <laughs> and it actually comes in these three sizes well these two are like the same size right here and it comes with the larger one I have to say it really works with my aesthetic so thank you so much really love them 
So if you guys are looking into buying something like this, definitely check out the link that I'll leave down below with other Amazon items that I bought in this video so you guys can purchase them if you guys like them yourselves. But anyways, I have this really cute journal and a pen that my friend actually bought for me for my birthday. Look how cute this pen is. Can you see that? Look, they have like little flowers in it. It's so pretty. I really liked it. I usually leave it with my journal because I attempt to write in it. I was doing so well, like, two months straight and then I just fell off. Definitely going to redo it and start journaling again. And then I just have like a little notepad for ideas. I don't really use them. Now we have the station that I call my, my candle station where I just light up my candle and you know turn on the vibes. I have this candle that I got from Bath and Body Works. Definitely my favorite scent. It smells so good. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on the bigger one so I bought two small ones and I'm making it last because it only comes around the holiday season. I got that candle for my friend for my birthday as well and then these little coasters that I made in my past videos. It's supposed to be coasters but I didn't do the greatest job um, with making it flat so that's why there's like spots that are still sticking up so you guys get it but it went with like this whole like vibe so that's why I left it there. I got these candle thingies off of Amazon. The only thing I really needed was like this wick cutter to cut my wicks off of my candles after they burn. And then it came with like these little knickknacks too. This bell, I think you're supposed to use it if you wanna like turn off the flame from the candle. I normally just like put on the lid and it just turns off in its own. And then this, I'm not quite sure what this is for. It looks nice, so I just leave it there. If you guys know what it is, let me know down below. And then I have this lighter that Jimmy bought a while ago. That's why it's not like aesthetically pleasing as like the other things. It's totally fine. I didn't wanna waste money with buying another one if we had this already. But this was really cool because I don't like using those little lighters that you have to like flick to turn on the flame, you know what I mean? You can charge this and all you have to do is just turn it on like that and just push the button and it lights up. And there you go. And that's how you light up your candle. Really cool. And then and now we have these little trays that I made in my last DIY video. I painted it and made it like this terrazzo looking coaster trays. I don't know what these are called, but I thought they were really cute to add some color into this area. And I made that tray as well. So here's an overview of the space. I have my TV, my soundbar, my Apple TV, and my Comcast Xfinity cable thing. And then I have this tower that I got off of Amazon. I thought it was so nice and it fit in that corner so well. I needed something to display all my DIYs and this worked perfectly. And yes, that's my dying tulips. I don't know what happened. It looked so nice the past couple of days and I brought it to the sun because this room doesn't get that much sunlight. And um, yeah, she, she's not thriving so well. So um, ignore that, please. Here's a close-up. So that's a DIY, DIY, DIY. This little thing on the outside is actually from Target. Ikea and some more things from Target and a recent DIY that I made. And then we have my Google Home. And this is actually really cool. I bought this during the pandemic because I wanted something for us to sanitize our phone or our keys with. You open it up, you leave your phone or your keys in there for at least 10 minutes, close it up, it's, and it should use the UV light or whatever to sanitize your phone. Definitely needed that. Thought it was really cool anyways. And then we have this basket that I made out of like Dollar Tree items. I just put like my dog's treats in there because they come in a lot and they come through the store. So I wanted to leave some treats for them and that's what's in there. Now we're moving along to a very familiar side of the room. This is where I usually film all my videos. That's kind of like my backdrop. The string lights I got off of Amazon. These two macarays as well. And then I made that macrame moon thing. This should look very familiar to you guys. I pop this little table right in front and that's where I film. I have a studio light that I put in front of me and that's how I get my lights. You guys probably seen these pillows before. I made that and that as well and some in there. Now we're wrapping around to this side of the room. I actually made that plant hanging Thing a while ago and it's still thriving because those are the only type of plants that I could keep alive, the fake ones. And now when you come around here, we have a Jimmy's Disney pin board. Pins are actually really, really cool. They're like different characters in Disney and Pixar. They actually don't sell these anymore, I don't believe. So this is like his little collection. Like look how cool they are. 
And um, this wall, I actually got these stickers, like this terrazzo looking design off of Target. Looks like that. $5 for a couple of sheets. I forgot how many sheets it comes with. Comes with 10 sheets and actually put some in my bathroom as well. All right, so that's pretty much the room, but I also wanted to turn this into like an entertainment room, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this room can do as well. So Alexa, turn off living room light. Okay, Alexa, turn on the party. <laughs> that was that was not as dramatic as I wanted it to, but we added some LED lights all around the room. And when we watch TV or something, we could turn on these lights and have like a different vibe to the room. And I thought it was really fun. So like I said, we do a lot in this room. Um, this space is not the biggest. If you guys have any suggestions, let us know, but I definitely like this room and it, it's just cozy and it just brings like different vibes to it. So I hope that you guys like this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!